Yeah. Nah, man. You know we gotta do a joint for the ladies, right? So every club worldwide, we gon' move y'all like this. Come on. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Okay, I want you guys to understand that when we do the hot picks, we actually do things right on the moment. Sometimes we just hope things are laying in wait. So we're checking to make sure that the pictures we have that are laying in wait are the pictures we're waiting for so you can see them while they're laying in wait. In other words... What? I don't know what you're talking about, but I don't... You good? It all looks okay to me. All right, look. Hey, you guys, I'm about to tell you about the hot picks. It's really simple. We take three males, three females. We put them on the stage of rage, wrath, upliftment, and all those other things. And we give them a score of 1 to 10, 10 being best. And, of course, they're always somewhat thematic. Always a condition that changes it because, I mean, you can rate wonderful models all day and, and it can be the same old, same old. So there's always a condition there. Now this week has been unique because we've been trying we've been trying to represent communities, countries, and alternatives that you usually are not around. We're not trying to be Vogue esh or Glamour magazine or Project Runway all the time. I mean that's a small area. So we're going to try to sw sw switch it this time and I'm going to give you something called the Women of Africa. Now when I was about to do this <laughs> The first thing became a problem is my getting their names correct. So this is going to be what you call the ratings. I want you guys to be careful now. Every situation of a model does not have to represent the U.S. market. So keep your minds open and remember, some of these models may be your next door neighbor. Mario, you ready? I'm ready. I got my robe open. <laughs> That's all right. I'm not. This is not it, it this is okay. okay. I wish Brandy was here. She would keep you in control. All right, I mean, here I'd we have go. I to close my robe. <laughs> I first, wouldn't want her to laugh. <laughs> the first young lady <laughs> representing the continent of, of Africa is Kia Kabidi. And she's definitely giving you what she called a little swerve. Now Mario. She's gorgeous. Oh, there you go. There you go. So the continent of Africa doesn't I, you matter. Know, I like to see her looking up with the eyes, but I wish she, she I wish she was smiling, but she's gorgeous. Uh, I, wow. I love it. I love it. I love her flashing eyes. She like she got a bunch of personality behind all that. Well, she got a lot, don't she? Yeah, she likes she got some personality. I give her ten. Man, that was easy. You, okay, say, what, what okay, you gotta tell me something. When you drop a ten like that and it doesn't require a lot, what struck you first about her? Uh, style and difference. Again, I, I imagine I, I would think I would like a better picture in the same outfit, the hair and everything, with just her head up more, see her smiling. Right. But because of her eyes and that attitude, that little hint of a smile, I just like she had. She brings a certain elegance. Mm, so I like, like that. I like that. I like that. Like bring, yeah, she brings a certain elegance. Hey, okay, now this is interesting you say that because what you're saying is you can't help but to go and say, look, I can't take you down that same road. Are you being a little bit more careful or cautious and trying to protect that fan base that's out in Africa because you don't want to? No, no, no. I, you know, I talk about them too. <laughs> and I love them. So well, that right. PFC called them Bush women. Uh, that's cold. That's cold. All right, but you know, we might love a bush. What we're saying is, this is us. This is me. <laughs> right. Uh, I love you. I love your mouth. Right. And your eyes. You know, it's a. You know, I love you. It's just an elegant. So. Well, let me drop in the the chat room. Norm gave a, a ten plus 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 plus. Mac said yes, 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 yes. Twelve. It's so easy to please you guys. This is why I don't want to do this segment this way. Well, please us, damn it. <laughs> All right. I don't want to do it we this way. We don't get enough pleasing. All right. Now, let me say, I have to chime in. This is just Mario and myself. Without a doubt, just that look, just the idea that I can say you represent the continent of Africa, which is a diverse continent, not just mm -hmm. one dimensional, made me proud to sit back and say, I'm, I love covering this. You get not only a 10, but you get a 10-10. You get a 10-10. Yeah, 10 10 10 A 10-10. A T-I-N. 10-10. T-E-N. A 10 10 A 10 T-E-N. T-I-N. That's right. 10-10. Ten, ten. Okay. Right, just read 10-10. Ten, ten. <laughs> That's right. All right, you guys. We're going to go to number two. Like I said, I hope I don't kill the names all day. And uh, 
it, look, when when a young lady comes at you and says, "My name is Oluchi Owegba." Onweagba. 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 I like that, Mar. You cleaned it up. Oluchi Onweagba. Look at that picture. Oh, she's pretty eyes. Look at that. I just want you to understand. Photoshop is involved in this. We know that. Yeah, that fur looked good on her, though. But be honest. I was faux fur. And remember, these are top models. She's a B cup, too. A little little flat chested woman. Itty bitty titty committee. The models usually are like that. I like them. You know me, I like. It could just be nipples on the board. (laughs) You know what? (laughs) <laughs> hey, I think she's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna give, and I think I like the picture. Oh, I'm glad. I'm so glad. I'm gonna say, and I, and I even, I, I hope it. I'm, I'm assuming it's faux fur. <laughs> nine point eight. Nine point eight. Now I know, I know what you're doing. She has a girly, beautiful yeah. affection. It's about what you kind of want from the woman. She has more of that traditional model build, right? At least, and you know, that's not going to be a, necessarily a plus with me. She needs to have a little bit more of that Brandy kind of vibe. Well, you just mentioned Brandy. You see what Brandy said? Now, Brandy, I know that name. That's so funny. That's all right. One they got we- white folks named that in South Africa. <laughs> see, they try to, they, and your name is Flores, and you got them all confused. <laughs> Wait a minute, I know. You do, Brandy. You do have everybody. They're going, okay, I got you. Remember, we did a male model yesterday. His name is Latin, William Levy or Levi? Yeah, Levi. 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 Well, I don't know. Okay, you whatever. You know, because you hear, because you know what he had in parentheses, how you pronounce All it? those names. I had a friend named Myron Bethel. Yeah. And he's black. Yes. His name sounded Jewish, right? Yep. See? Okay. So you never know. So let me just chime Brandy in Flores because sounds- CMC already said very cute, 9.5. And Norman said 10 plus plus plus. Mac jumped into a 12. Now, Brandy. You're taking it back to the 60s. Now, wait a minute. This is, this is where Brandy. See, now, you guys don't understand. Randy, Brandy. Brandy actually covets models in a way that she says, I've been around them. I know what they want. I know what and how they win. She knows about men, too. Yeah. She Brandy. know what we want. That's why she won't give it to us. Right, Brandy. You got to give a score, Brandy. You can't stay there hidden, but that's all right. I had to go get lunch, a chicken burrito. Okay, we're going to go to you the next one. You know you're not going to be eating them burritos. i to the next one. This is crazy. All right. This one's going to be simple. This young lady's name is Uba, and that's all you need to know. You tell me, Mario. This Uba! Is a, Uba! Uba! And I want you to understand. Now, I want you Pretty. guys to understand. Look like Tony Braxton. Look a be- little bit be- beautiful. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Now let me say, I want you guys to understand. Uba! I actually, when I did a search, I did a general search of the top African models. So whatever came up out of the groups across the board, their names popped up quite often. Oh my God, PMC said a twelve. Uba! <laughs> okay, Uba! Brandy, this is my favorite ten. See, you guys are too easy to please. I can't wait to do the fine women of Russia. <laughs> you know what you do? What about Germany? No, I want to see the fine women of Russia. Okay, well, well, let's I want you to be more challenged. <laughs> you did what? Africa, but we're going to give you some different places to go to. <laughs> fine women from Tonga. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Max, Max says, bring us free 15. Man, Brandy says 10. Tough choices, PMC. Norm, 10 plus plus. See, the reason why I don't want to do the top models all the time, because there's no argument. It's just all oh, 10 In other ten, ten, words, ten. you want to show us the jacked up people so no, that we have something to compare no, to. I just want you guys. How are you going to tell me this woman? Well, she's got Uba! A What is your vote? She has a 10. See? Look at the whitest teeth I've ever came across. <laughs> okay. She gets a 10, right? Uh, that's a private no joke. I can't do anything. All right. Now, you now know see if you can do it for the men, though. Now, I'm going to tell you something. This is different. Now, you said different oh, twist. Oh, now it's different. <laughs> this is okay, different now you're going to ask about jacked up men <laughs> with no, suspenders. Like PMC that. knows. Not, see, I did. Now, I want you guys to understand. Criteria are made by how you search. I like to search. So when I searched, I said top male models of three different continents. I said UK, okay. British, and Asia. See, PMC. <laughs> see, all the people paranoid. They go, here we go. Bushmen. No, it's not. It's going to be it's from not. the Bush administration. See, see, when you guys think I'm going in a certain direction, it's not going there. But here's the criteria. You guys have to turn around and understand. You have the UK, you have Asia and India looking at you. So when you give your opinions, that's your fan followers or you're going to cut them off. So we're going to rate them based on which country 
best looks like yeah he he he's the man based okay. on the photos that was put I want to go Pakistan <laughs> go Pakistan so the first one we're gonna go to is British UK United Kingdom dropping you the 007 with tight jeans on man what do you say Mario oh there's the Brit he looks British he got the big nose the okay. potty lip all right there you go he has see? some cat though I'm just saying see that's you gonna be a, a good actor. UK. I give him, I, give, I think he's making it 10. It, does this look like a Calvin Klein British UK Yeah, it shot? does. The jeans are a little tight, but I guess that's what they do now. <laughs> 10. <laughs> Wait a minute, you gave him a 10. I gave him a 10. You gave him a 10. Because, you know, the jeans are a little tight. <laughs> Wait a minute. But it's a good picture. Wait a minute. Now watch this. PMC, you're right where I'm at. Because remember now, different countries have different styles, so you can't penalize them too much. But the first thing I said is, he looked like he could be acting. He looks like he has that face to do some acting. Yeah. Now the pants, yes. Well, here's the thing too, Vic. PMC, we all did wear tight pants. Uh, and what's the thing is when stuff is in style, the big people wear it anyway. Wear it. So, what, you know, you know, everybody know damn well when tight clothes come back, the big people be wearing it. <laughs> Wait a minute. So we all wore some tight clothes. But PMC, that's a little bit too much information about Jimmy. Mine already. I, <laughs> mine died. I just have a... <laughs> I was a pitiful shell of my former self. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Norman says, man, was well, is this sexy 9 or 10? Nice. Mac 4000 says, not the GNN at 240 pounds. Hey, Mac, I hit 260. Wait a minute. Mario, is, I'm saying this. I was at a... Mac, I'm telling you, without a doubt, I was there. I was talking to a young lady. She she, she actually has gotten a little bit... You know, she's athletic. What are you saying? I'm, you did your hands. You got a little what? You were certain. She, she's gained some weight. You were doing this. She gained some weight. She gained some weight. <laughs> she gained you some weight. your belly. But wait a minute. We were talking about who's in style. And I said, do you know we're at a time where slim men are not preferred as much? Because there ain't nothing around. It's easy, it's easy not to prefer what you don't ever see. <laughs> there ain't no slim men. <laughs> Anybody seen a slim so, man? I, wait a minute. So I, I told she she had gained some weight. And she's, I said, you don't like where you asked it, but I bet you you're getting way more attention. She says, absolutely. And I said, so you know we're in a different time now. They still want Brandy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brandy, they still want you. Your right. butt look kind of good this week. <laughs> okay. So here we go. So we, so let me chime in. I'm going I'm to say the same for this brother. I'll say this. Man, you know, I, this looks British to me. I'm not going to lie to you. It looks British. I'm just not sure if the British wear their pants that tight. That's all. All I can say is we wore them. I had some tight ones, too. Everybody did. Remember, they, remember when y'all didn't even have no back pockets on the pants? <laughs> right. Now, remember, I'm just going to give the benefit of the doubt that the U.K. says we work a different way. So as a person who can probably get work, homeboy can get work. He can get some work. I gave him 10. I know. You gave him work. Gave him work. All right. Now, look, I'm going to say this right now. When you go over to India, I want you to understand, don't get in your mind that you're looking at cats who always go to MIT, that they have the high IQ and they don't have style. India is represented. You know why? They they're, got hip hop. They got hip hop. They, Bangra. They got Bangra. And they actually can be big pimping. India is represented in this picture. I want Pujabi. you to tell me. That's right, Pujambi pimp. Now I want you to tell me, Mario, if you were flying over to India and you wanted somebody to greet you, would you want somebody that looks like my, bro my yeah, brother? Yeah, because I wanted to take me out to hang out with them happening Indian girls. <laughs> I don't want them all homie ones be trying to have me pray. No, go, come on I now. need the ones that want to have a little party. <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean, I want the pray ones too. Yo. And later on. <laughs> no. But when we first get to India, right. let's go get some good Indian food, <laughs> some good Indian drink. And look at some good old Indian women. That's what I say. Wait a minute, Wherever wait a I go, let's do the same three no, things. No, will you please <laughs> eat, Brandy, drink, and look at a woman. Brandy, I was thinking of you <laughs> when this picture popped up, and she says, yes, please, he can greet me. Thank you. See, my whole point is this, Mario. Don't my be making thing, us jealous. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. When you do go somewhere, you say, I want to learn and know about where the place to go. Are you going to have somebody you feel good who's all in linen? white linen, barefoot, that's it? Or are you going to say, man, let me go talk to this cat, and he's going to show me where a good time is? Yeah, I want to have some fun. You know, in India, you need a guy. <laughs> you, know, you can't go every place all alone be feeling it out. <laughs> India is one of those places. Don't go over there alone trying to figure it out. Right. You end up jacked. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, I'm telling you. so here we go. Now, mm -hmm. Now, Norm already gave him a 10. We already know that. That's cold, Mac. 
He is not standing in front of a taxi cab. That's not That's right. Cool. That's cold. That's <laughs> cold. All right. Now, Brandy already know dropped a 10. She's just not giving you the number. Mario, you already dropped what? 10. I'll sit there and say, dude, just because he's bringing it like this, I was going, dude, I know a lot of people. He catching hell from the Indians, though. Yeah, yeah, he is. He catching hell. He's going to get some. He look like he a Brahma cast, though. <laughs> yes. You know, Indians like Brazil, they have those casts. Right. And just like most places, the darkest people <laughs> tend to be at the bottom of the hey, cast. look. So he like he part of that Brahma cast. Well, hey, look. I know people, some of them Brahmas. When people go to Brazil, they say, don't, don't. Don't give me what I haven't seen as the draw to come here. Greet me with what I've seen. You want to be what? Into the culture? Go, you know, say, oh, I just want to learn about the old ways. Or you saying, no, take me to the place where Bangra Punjabi thrives. That's right. All right. Give so me here. some food first. <laughs> that's, that's I it. need food. I tell you to order. I'm old. I need food, <laughs> drink, and that's it. Sleep. Okay. Then the women. Then the women. All right. Our last one, like I said, from the continent of Asia. If any of you have visited Asia, you have to understand, you need to know where you get your protection from. And when you get your protection, it's because you need to know that somebody's got your back. A Asia, which is a typo here, I put Asian, it should have been Asia. Will this brother convince you that he got your back and he knows where to take you, Mario? Yeah, you have to give me a smile. You know, you got some Bruce Lee in him. <laughs> That's right. You're like, I don't know, no. Mario, no, remember. I'm yeah. saying, I hope you can fight. I say, man, you look kind of tough. Can you fight? He's representing the whole country now. If you're wearing that coat, you better be able to fight. <laughs> Come on now. I'm just saying. Some people, when you wear certain fashions. Now, wait a minute. How is this? I'm a Yakuza. <laughs> See, I knew you was Yakuza! going there. Yakuza! I knew you was going there. See, you, so you went to where I thought you was going. What? He's, like, he's Japanese, right? You won't mess with him, would you? Yeah, he's not Chinese. He's Japanese. Why? Well, he may be. He may be. Let me see. What's his name? He's I name. bet he's Japanese. Well, you know, when I said Asia, that's yeah. what he is. But you know, he up. looks like he got a swagger going. Now, do you think that coat is expensive? It looks old, <laughs> old and dated fashion. Some old style. Plus, when you wear coats like that, you usually have to be able to kick somebody's ass. Is there? Wait a minute. Girl, you would have had your own ass kicked. Wait, you would wait, change wait. the coat. Wait a minute. Now, Norm <laughs> said eight. Brandy said not for me, seven. So they're giving him respect. Brandy right. wants you to smile. Oh, you're right. Now I told the total man, you want to influence Brandy, you got to smile. So I, let's I don't remember. Put on your happy face. Well, I'm just saying, Mario, if a brother was wearing this, and when I say a brother, an African-American male, was wearing this outfit, would he be big pimping? He'd be gay. That's <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. You let's ask what? him. That's wrong. You know what the thing is, you guys? People tend to classify you with the clothes a lot. Right. What they wear in Japan is not like the U.S. True. Okay, they wear stuff. So in in the U.S., it's it's that, is that a scarf or a vest? Well, uh, hey, look. With the turtleneck. See, right. that's where they get you. I would wear the turtleneck because I like turtlenecks, right. even though that's kind of old. Right, and I'm saying when you're judging another country's fashion statement, you can't tell you got to be careful because right. you can't always say defer to the U.S. When everybody knows the real fashion, glamour, respect is in France, not necessarily the U.S. No, because mostly the coat looks old, like an old style from the 70s I or know 60s. That. Mostly the thing I have with the coat is it just doesn't... But on the other hand, with him being, ja I think he's Japanese. He may be Japanese, but I think it throws as right. a throwback at American culture. Right. And so it's still an homage. I got you. It's like when they go hip hop, right? No, I got Anybody you. Anybody see really... Japanese hip hop people? Right. They do a whole different way oh, no, of doing hip hop. They have a whole different swagger. Yeah, they do a swift. So oh, I, but I right. like it. I like it. So I'm going to give him 9.5. Yeah, out of respect. Brandy gave him a 7. What's Brandy? <laughs> yeah, Brandy, we understand. We understand. I, I got to defer. If I haven't been there and I don't know what it is, I can't knock it. I'm just saying, he looks like he's going, like, you know, I I take no bullshit. No, only yeah. thing I will say is this. I would have known. That's a little old style, right, you yes, guys? It yes, it is. Okay, because that's why PMC and I tend to, that's our age, I hate that's to right. say it. That's right. Usually PMC and I are close in fashion because the age thing. <laughs> you know what? Now, Norman tend to be a little bit more fashionable. Than Mac is trying to make sure that he gets a message out what he's not willing to do, and I'll let M Mario just dive in on that one. <laughs> yep, sorry. Mac, he ain't giving up that 72-year-old booty. <laughs> That's good to know, I Mac. My, my, Mac, Mac, that's good to know. I, that's not. And now I'm gonna rest easy tonight because I was worried. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this is it's time to roll back, man. We're I gonna, love it. I love it. Even I, though I think that I, jacket looks really old, and somehow I, it looks old, y'all. So here you guys go. You got three countries. One Asia, 
India, UK. We're gonna say who's the big pimp, who's the one that best represents your role, your style, the one you can make money on if you had to say, let me promote this style, this gangster, this this model. Mario, roll back. I think the most big money maker is number one. Brit, uh oh. The Brit, I think he's just too rough and tough, looking like James Bond and shit. <laughs> You know, I'm just saying he's too rough and tough with that hard look and stuff. He's he's working it. Okay. And I th even though I think the, the India man, he's cool, dude. And but I think the ones who just have a kind of different, unique standout vibe. Right. Honorable mention goes to the Far East. Yeah. Because and you notice he's not they're not the most buffed up ones. Right. But this dude has a little swagger, even with this weird outfit. Right. And and the Brit, he's he's hardcore to me. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I give honorable mention to India. Okay. All right. Nor. Wearing Nor a cross, you know that way he wearing a cross. Dude, dude, come on, man, come and on. And he, he not he, Christian. Well, Norm went two, one, and then three. So then it kind of lets you know, and that's. Yo, let me just say this: this is he's not the Count of Monte Crist Cristo. Let, okay, Mari, go ahead. You you went number one is your uh, British UK. Number one for me is UK. Yeah, but then my number two was the Asian Far East connection. All right, and fellas. We're just talking about what style would you roll in and where would you put your money if you had to promote one of these cats as making your money. It's easy for me to go UK yeah. because they always tend to have, you know, that media thing ahead and they're more comfortable in their society of having different looks. I would have voted for India, but we know that they're, like you said, they're going to have problems with the message you can't sell him in India you know, too you good. Can't, that would have no cross. <laughs> no, no. That's why I said I'm, I Hindu, feel bad. Hindu, Muslim, right? I can't say. Brandy, okay. Brandy went uh, Brit, maybe India one, Brit two. Oh, she went India one. See, All that's because right. she liked that international flavor with All slight right. bad boy okay. in it. All right, and he's still wearing a cross, right. so she can have everything she wants. <laughs> <laughs> so she chimed in and said That's not her flavor But it, what's more important Mario She well, might go out with What's him. more important what, what we believe the industry likes Or when a woman like Brandy says This is what I like Who do you pay attention to more? I pay attention to Brandy Thank you She's a fine girl That's Brandy What a say, good wife she go. would be To see all day We're following your lead So here it is So far we got India We got UK it seems like I'm gonna have to break the tie. I don't see any other votes co coming in right now. Everybody's trying to be careful. I, I Brit, I gotta yeah. go Brit because you know. Yeah. I, now he I'm got a funny you. nose. And a big old long nose. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna say he can get away with making more money. Oh, oh and, yeah, yeah. That, that was what your criteria. Yeah, make he can make Pimple. more money. Pimple. Pimple. All right, let's roll up to the ladies, man. Oh, ooh. Uber. Uber. Man, 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 man. Oh. Oluchi Onwi Agba! I like that name. I like Oluchi! Oh, I, I, mm. And Kia! Oh, Kia! Now, now she looks like she's saying, I'm taking a place out of the American way of modeling it. The, the way they do it commercially. If you never knew that she was from Africa, she just looked like she would be a model that's already. Yes, she's done. Already there. I'm already in that mode. In that, it, look at Half man, Eddie. I man, want half. Look at this. Look at Bland, Brandy. Ooh. I'm not going to say that I'd be a good wife to the right guy. Oh, Brandy, you sitting up here sending out messages, girl. I don't know. You, I don't know. You say that. <laughs> I heard some of that other information. <laughs> you see, yeah, we will talk about that. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that. Brandy, we yeah, can't wait. No, we come you, back Monday. She got, Brandy got conditions. Yes, she does. She got a lot of conditions, y'all. Yeah, She'll be a good wife mm. if, if. I know. <laughs> Well, let me go. PMC already chimed in for our ladies. He said number one, number two, and number three. You went in that order. All right. Very interesting. Mac just said three. Three, 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 three. Uber! Norm said number one, then number three, then number two. So we got we got votes all over the place right now. The mm. only one is uh, Aluchi has not gotten a first place vote. Mario, what's your best three? My first place vote goes to Kia Kibidi. Wow. Kia, Redbone yeah. from Africa. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then my number two is going to be Uba. Uh, yeah, Uba, Uba. Uba. Yeah, yeah. My my vote is this. I Number three is got it's it. It's Uba, not Uba. Uma. Uh, Uma's <laughs> a little sister. <laughs> my, my number one is Uba. Ooh, and my number two 
take it on to number one, man. I have to take it uh, all the way. Matt Olucci. Oh, uh, uh, number two. Matt Olucci, no, I mean, Onwe No, number one. Kia. Number one is my Kibidi. number two. Kibidi. That's Kia it. Kia Kibidi. Oh, man. I, hey, look. We're, like I said, we're going to be taking the globe on the models of r- respective countries. So you guys got to keep up in mind. We started off with Africa today. And then we kept the men flowing. And the UK. UK seems like it won. And Uba is our winner Uba. As the women are represented. Mar, you have anything to say? I have to say, Uba! Yeah! They don't really have Hot announcers pick. at back to show talking like that. Hot <laughs> pick! Yeah. Nah, man. You know we gotta do a joint for the ladies, right? right. So every club worldwide, worldwide, we gonna move y'all like this. Come on. Bounce, bounce, bounce.